Hello everyone. In this particular session, we will start with our Android part. So let's get started with the basic history. It all started back in 2003, where four friends, they started a project for their digital cameras. On those days, like back in 2003, the digital cameras were not so handy. They were not so easy to use, right? So they started working for a better operating system for the digital cameras. But like for working after like four or five months on that project, they just shift their focus to design a operating system for their smartphone devices instead of designing an operating system for digital cameras, which has a lower market ratio as compared to your smartphone devices. One more thing, back in those days, each and every company has their own operating system like the Nokia has the Symbian, the Microsoft has their Windows, the HTC has their Palm, the Blackberry has their own operating system. Because of that part as well, it becomes a bit harder for all the users to keep using all those devices or they can switch. So they can't switch between those devices because of their different functionalities and different operating system and the dependency part as well. Right. So like because of some financial losses after one or two years, because their investors step back from their projects and they start facing some financial losses, right? So they need to find a better investor out there. So first they go to Samsung, then they go to HTC, which again reject their projects. But in 2005, they go with the Google, which helped them funding as well. And they started working under Google, right? The company which was founded by those four friends, the friends were Andy Rubin, Rick Miner, Chris White and Nick Sears. These four friends registered a company with the name Android Incorporation in 2003, which was again occupied by the Google in 2005. And they started working on their same project under Google. In 2007, Google formed an alliance of different vendors, right, which was again led by Google. And in that alliance, in that group, you can say we have different vendors like you can go with some network operators, you can go with some hardware manufacturers, you have your major software manufacturers, your chip manufacturers, as well as your semiconductor market as well, right? These are the few major members which were under your OHA. We call it Open Handset Alliance, which was formed in 2007, right? At first, it was led by the Google, but nowadays it was led by the Alphabet, the parent company for the Google, right? And we have all these companies under your OHA. Almost all the companies like we are using or the devices like we are using Samsung, we are using like uh, LG, Motorola, HTC, whatever companies were there, they all were under your OHA. They were all were a part of OHA, Open Handset Alliance. So in the same year, 2007, they released their first SDK, you can say, for the developers. The first Android version was released in 2008. This was the first Android device that runs on Android released by the HTC company back in 2008. The company announced the device September 2008, but it was available in the market after a month. This was the first Android device, HTC Dream 1 we call it. But again, there were different releases. This runs on Android version 1.5, but the first release was 1.0, right? There were no device which was running on version 1.0 and the second release 1.1. These two releases have no Android devices running on. These are here 1.0 and the version 1.1. No devices were running on 1.0 and 1.1. Right? The first device runs on Android version 1.5 or you also call it Android Cupcake. From the release of 1.5, they also started naming these release on some e-tables, on some sugar dishes, you can say. Right? They started naming them in the alphabetic order. They generally call it Alpha, but the Alpha name was not officially released. For the Android version 1.1, they started calling it Beta, but the official name was not released again. But from the release of 1.5, they released the official name like Android Cupcake, then Donut, then Eclairs, Fryo, Gingerbread, Honeycomb, and so on, up to your Android version 9, which was known as Android Pie. From the Android version 10, they again stopped naming and they started calling them Android version 10, Android version 11, and the latest which was released a month ago, back in October, this was Android version 12. This is the latest version which you can install on your Google Pixels or your like new smartphone devices which were coming in the market, maybe in next few months, will be running on Android version 12. But on this day today, 
on this 27th of November 2021 you can install this Android version 12 mostly on your pixels like you can run install this Android version 12 on your pixel 3 4 5 and 6 as well 